In this video, we will learn how to memorize values of sine, cos, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent for 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. So, our task would be to fill this table in this video. And because these values, these angles are used more often than any other angles, so it is recommended that you, mem you can memorize all the values of six trigonometric ratios for these angles now before going through the video there are some rules that you should be aware of so th the first one is cosecant is the reciprocal of sine of a and secant is reciprocal of cos and cotangent is reciprocal of tangent and tangent of any angle is equal to sine of that angle divided by cos of that angle so these are the four identities that you need to be aware of in order to fill this table i think these are pretty easy and i assume that you are already aware about these identities now starting with the sign you just need to memorize mechanism for the sign for the sign and the rest of the table will be filled automatically for sine 0 degrees it's equal to square root of 0 divided by 4 for sine 30 degrees it's square root of 1 divided by 4 sine 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 divided by 4 sine of 60 degree is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 sine of 90 degrees is equal to square root of 1 divided by it's 4 divided by 4 sorry so sine 0 degree comes up equal to 0 and sine 30 degree comes up equal to 1 by 2 sine 45 degree comes up to 1 by square root of 2 because this 2 gets cancelled by this 2 and we get 1 by square root of 2 and sine 60 degree comes up square root of 3 divided by 2 and sin 90 degree come up 1 just notice the pattern here for from sin 0 degree to 90 degrees it's square root 0 divided by 4 square root 1 divided by 4 and then 2 divided by 4 square root and 3 divided by 4 square root and 4 divided by 4 square root so these will be the values of all of the sign for from 0 to 90 degrees so it's 0 1 divided by 2 1 divided by square root of 2 under root 3 divided by 2 and it's 1 and the values of all the for the uh, the values for all the cos uh, from 0 to 90 degrees is just the reverse of sine so in order to fill the, all the cos values you just need to write all the sine values in reverse order so it would be 1 under root 3 divided by 2 1 by square root of 2 1 divided by 2 and 0 so that's about cos and we know that tangent is equal to sine divided by cos so tangent of 0 degree would be equal to sine of 0 degree divided by cos of 0 degree so it would be equal to 0 because 0 divided by 1 is 0 so 1 divided by 2 divided by now what's the value of tangent 30 degree so 1 divided by 2 divided by under root 3 by 2 so it, it becomes equal to 1 by under root of 3 1 divided by square root of 3 and 1 divided by square root 2 divided by 1 divided by square root 2 is 1 and square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 by 2 it comes up square root of 3 and 1 divided by 0 it is not defined so I will write and it's not defined and similarly for the cosecant we know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine so for cosecant of 0 degree if I write 1 divided by 0 it would be not defined so I'll write not defined here and value for cosecant 30 degree would be 2 because it's a reciprocal of sine 30 degree and for cosecant 45 degree it would be square root of 2 and for this it would be 2 divided by square root of 3 and for cosecant 90 degree it would be 1 now secant is the reciprocal of cos we just need to Take the reciprocals so for cosecant 0 degree it would be 1 and for cosecant 30 degree it would be 2 divided by under root of 3 
and for secant 45 degrees so it would be square root of 2 and secant 60 degree it would be 2 and for cos for secant 90 degrees uh, it would be not defined because 1 divided by 0 is not defined now for now we know that cot is the cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent and we need to take reciprocals of these values so it would be not defined because 1 divided by 0 is not defined it's scale root of 3 it's 1 and 1 divided by scale root of 3 and because it's not defined so this would be not defined too we cannot write we can find the value okay let's take we also know that cotangent is equal to cos cotangent of a is equal to cos of a divided by sine of a and we can find cotangent of 90 degree is equal to cos of 90 degree divided by sine of 90 degree and we know that cos of 90 degree is 0 and sine of 90 degree is 1 so value of cotangent of 90 degree would be 0 it would it won't be uh, not defined it will be 0 so I can write 0 here So I hope you learned something from this video and uh, you got to know how to fill this table and when you are asked to find the value of sine 60 degree now you can do something in your mind to reach this value and if you are asked value of cosecant of 30 degree then you can do calculations in your mind and as you become more and more expert in filling in this table you will be able to find the values of all these six trigonometric ratios for all these angles in your mind. See you guys in the next video.